Okay, then it's time to create the wing. Before we get right into it, it's time to just create something to um, act as the sort of curve of, of the wing. So I'm going to go into the side view again for that, and we're just going to flatten the wing off a little bit. You'll need your vertex mode for that. Um, I'm just going to face mode and kill that selection. Into vertex mode. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is just because I know this is a plane and that because it wants to fly, the wing sort of has to taper in this kind of direction. I'm just going to create a. Oh, wrong one. Got to be a little bit more precise than that. Okay. It's that one there. Just move that up as well. This one a little bit. And it's just going to create that nice sort of wing silhouette. I need to get hold of that vertex there. Okay, and then I think this one needs to just keep that going like that. Lovely. So hopefully that will um, create more of a wing shape in a moment when we just move that around. Hopefully. So we'll just get that like that. So you're just getting it ready to become a wing, really. You, you do want this to be fairly smooth. Okay, that one needs to come up a bit further. So does this one. Okay, and then this one as well could do it being moved up a little bit. It's just too close. So that isn't a bad looking wing. Okay, that ought to do it. Okay, so now it's time to extrude. So we're going to go back into object mode just after I kill that selection. No, face mode, sorry. So I'm going to select these faces that are going to be the wing. I'm going to switch to my perspective view and I'm going to click on extrude. Okay, and again, this manipulator is not really very good for what we want to do. So I'm going to click on the move tool and I'm going to change to my top view. And then I'm just going to extrude out a wing. Oh, that's not very helpful. Extrude out a wing, and you can see it's doing it on both sides as well. It'll be round about the right length. For some reason, I'm not in um, X ray mode anymore, so I'll turn that back on. And there we can see it's already starting to look a little bit more plain like. Okay, the next step, which is fairly important um, for what we want to do, is to just go back into vertex mode now. And we just need to flatten a few things off. Um, if you select all the points on the edge, you can see they're not in a, in a row. Just going to make it difficult to work with. So just switch to your scale tool, and if you just scale into the middle like this, but no further, they all come together and sit on top of each other, be nice and flat as they should be. Okay, so that then leaves us at this stage. Okay, we'll start to make this a little bit more wing-like in the next step. See you there.